113 remaining second quarter at Madison Square Garden. Knicks up by two. Be the first to represent up including Carmelo Anthony and Chauncey Billups jerseys plus team gear including hats t-shirts and more at nynextdoor.com the official online store of the New York Knicks. Well, we're going to have Legends Night coming up at halftime a special ceremony for one of our all time favorites Mike Saunders honored earlier in this half with the Dick McGuire Legacy Award. Mike and his wife Susan. Mike's uh, son and daughter here as well. One of the all time great guys and as much a part of any Nick team as any player for 27 years. Bob. Yep. Personified class did Mike. As the Knicks athletic trainer was assistant under Danny Whalen then became the head as Turiaf gets the rebound. Great to have him back here in a building where he spent a great deal of portion of his life. Yeah, the memories must be abounding now for Mike. Phillips draws the foul on a three point attempt as Dueling hit him from behind. Nope, they're going to say a two. Dueling had been superb with his shooting, but showing folly. Uh, folly and Phillips on this play. They're going to look at it. So Greg Willie, the official, is going to check to see if it was a two or a three. As Dueling picks up his second foul. Phillips, 92% from from the line, second best in the NBA. He's hit 90% or better in the last three years. Oh, he was behind the arc, Mike. And so was that Dueling's foot, or was that? You see, Scott Scott was looking on. It's where you take off, right? He took Correct. off from behind the arc. So it should be three. Dueling giving his, <laughs> his input. Uh, they're going to check another one. That first one was not conclusive. The ruling on the court was that it was a two point shot, but was inside. Usually doesn't take this long. NBA replays usually pretty quick. They've got the answer. And it's a three. Yeah, he took off from behind the arc and then was fouled inside of the arc. He should have just asked you. <laughs> Let's take another look at it. Glad you had it right. Yeah, this would be a... Oh, no question. Yeah, I saw a dueling's foot. I thought of me. But it was Chauncey Billups, so he'll get the three free throws. Yeah, we'll tell you, don't forget, stay tuned at halftime not only for Legends Night, but live from Boost Mobile Celebrity Row with Jill Martin and Jill's guest, Lala Vasquez, the wife of Carmelo Anthony. If you have a question you'd like Jill to ask Lala, go to msg.com slash Knicks and click on Jill Martin. That's an appropriate guest. She's not only Carmelo Anthony's wife, she's a TV personality and singer and entertainer. Who, Jill? <laughs> well, we know Jill she's is. Aspiring. <laughs> I thought you called her minute. <laughs> Gonna be a nice to her, I call her. Well, that's coming up at halftime. Nick Lee back up to five. Phillips eight points, four rebounds, four assists. Oh, he's it's carrying the ball, got away with it. It did look like it, but a pretty move from Salmons. He's got 15 points. See, that, that's inexplicable that he can start out 25 feet away dribbling like that and go in and make a basket. Anthony, nice spin, and draws the foul. You can see Camelo is tight. He's doing his moves, but at the last moment, there's a little hesitation, so he's been missing those shots. Watch, he's going to do the spin nicely. But right there, he's thinking, and it's too long. One of the underrated aspects of his game is how strong he is going to the basket. And how quick. Mitchell his ability to get off his feet once he misses a shot, goes up quickly to contest the shot. And like Billup, a lethal free throw shooter, and he misses that. And just not coming down for him. The uh, Delta halftime report coming up. We'll have the Legends Night ceremony. And live for Boost Mall Celebrity Roll, Jill and Lala Vasquez. Look at Anthony. We have two guys that get to the free throw line. Stoudemire, 422 free throw attempts. Anthony, 417. You look at Milwaukee, the highest guy is McGetty, and he has 271. Yeah, that's more like eight per game for Stat. And eight for Mello. Shot clock turned off. Jennings looking. Oh, 
<laughs> Jennings just fell down. It didn't look like Williams bumped him. But we just did, shouldn't, didn't need body contact. All you do, the big guys need to show. Smart play from Jennings as Williams picks up his third. Yeah, watch Williams. Doesn't have to be this aggressive. Just show and get back. You see, he drew contact. That looked to me like Jennings initiated that play. Two shots. But a smart play to fall down. So Jennings, who had that great rookie season this year, he's had some injury problems. Had that left foot surgery back in December. He missed 19 games. What about Michael Ridd, Mike? Yeah, he's going to come back soon. There you see Harry Gallup, Dick Barnett, Earl Monroe, part of the Legends Night Ceremony coming up. Red, by the way, Clyde. Just practiced for the first time. He's hoping to come back from another devastating knee injury. He wants to come back by the end of the season. Just had his first practice with the the other day. Yeah, that was just, uh, that's why the Bucks are without a prolific score. Anthony the drive and did not get it off in time. And that will end the first half. Anthony, five for 14 from the field. He had 14 points to lead the Knicks. Five rebounds to lead them as well. And two steals lead them in that department. As a Nick shot 52% from the field and lead by two. And after his first half as a Nick, he's without traveling. Okay, Mike, it seemed like you really wanted those two shots in the last 30 seconds. Yeah, I did, man. I'm just trying to get get comfortable within this uh within the offense, within this team. It's new to everybody. But we can trying to play hard, trying to get the win, trying to work the Kings out. How would you describe what you were feeling inside when this game got going? It was it was a lot going on. It was energetic in here, it was exciting. Um, you know, that was, that was a great way to work with someone back home. Um, and this, you know, this is the start of something new. And I'm, I'm excited about this, and I can't wait to continue doing what I'm doing. Thanks, Carmelo. All right. Mike, back to you. All right, Al. In his first game, you can see he's fired up. He's probably going to sleep well, <laughs> sleep well tonight. So, halftime here at Madison Square Garden. Forget the Legends ceremony coming up. And after two quarters, it's the next 59. And the Bucks 57 from here at Madison Square Garden.